I drew 30 of my favorite albums with a new brush. I was looking through some old sketchbooks and came across this one I did maybe about five years ago. I'm often trying to think of new things to do and I thought at the time, you know, why not just draw some album covers? So I made a list. My only criteria was to include albums that I never get tired listening to. I had also recently purchased these ink brush pens and thought, hey, why not? The nib bristles on them are kind of long and flexible. Uh, you can vary your line work by varying the amount of pressure you apply. And to add more ink, you squeeze the middle area here and it pumps more ink into uh, the cartridge. So this is a very cheap sketchbook, maybe two or three dollars, but I like the square format. And in these drawings, I also added some text on my thoughts, memories, or facts about the album with a white gel pen. I usually worked on these pages for maybe about an hour uh, in a coffee shop, usually after work. So the first one here is Dead or Alive's Youthquake album from 1985. Then we have Death From Above 1979, You're a Woman, I'm a Machine from 2004. We got the Violent Femmes debut album, uh, Nick Cave's The Boatman's Call. We got Beck Sea Change from 2002. Jane's Addictions, Nothing Shocking from 1988. Tom Waits, Closing Time, excellent album. Uh, the Strokes, Is This It from 2001. New Order's Low Life from 1985. Flaming Lips Soft Bulletin, and you can see up here I accidentally smudged the ink. Suicide's debut album from 1977. Screamin' Jay Hawkins, this is kind of like a, a greatest hits album. The Software Slump by Granddaddy, released in 2000. Miles Davis, Kind of Blue, um, 1959, and I think it's still the best, uh, best selling uh, jazz album. Platinum Blonde, Standing in the Dark, huge fan. Uh, Anthony and the Johnsons from 2005, I Am a Bird Now. The Cults Electric, released 1987. The Specials debut, released in 1979 and produced by Elvis Costello. Sugur Ross, um, this was their second album, uh, 1999. And Nine Inch Nails, Pretty Hate Machine, 1989. Uh, the Cure, Standing on a Beach, the singles collection. Tools Undertow from 1993. DJ Shadows Introducing from 1996. The Stone Roses, 1989, self titled. And the excellent I Can Hear the Heart Beating as One by Yola Tango from 1997. Public Enemies, It Takes a Nation of Millions to Hold Us Back. The Smiths, The Queen is Dead. Radiohead's OK Computer, also from 1997. Fine Young Cannibals, uh, self-titled debut, 1985. And Tobias Gesso Jr., Goon, 2015. Thanks for checking out this video. Feel free to subscribe, hit the like button, or leave a comment or suggestion below. This has been a Video Production.